In today's video, we're going to look at how we can add banding colors to our bar chart so we can see banding going across for each of the different summary levels of our project. Now, this sample project I have here at the moment doesn't have anything turned on. So all I'm going to do is go to my Format tab at the top, click on Format Bar Chart, brings up Format Bar Chart. I go to the General tab, and I'm going to put a tick in Spreadsheet, then click on Close. We see it brings in color for construction, color for site establishments, color for substructure, and they're the different levels. Both site establishments and substructure are at the same level, so they have the same color. I don't like the colors that have been chosen. I just simply go into a blank space over here, right click, and I can go into the appearance. And here you can see um, we've got level one, two, three. Level one is never really seen because that's above program. Level two would be the construction color. Level three would be the, the color and so on inside there. So I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to say that we're going to set that as a blue color for that one. And if I want to go into this one, I can say that's going to be a pink color. And I can add a further level into there if I wanted to as well. The theme, however, I want is purple. I can choose the text color and the text size as well. Click on OK, and you can see now I have those colors appear. Now, what we can also do is if I go to Format Bar Chart again, and in here, if I click on Display Hierarchy Banding when not sorting, it will give me this message. If I say yes, it will ask me to. I can change the appearance colors. If I say no, it will just come back to my dialog. Click on close. And now you have the banding going down the side to show you where each other thing is. And you can see I've got my first fix and second fix inside here. Now, on top of that, if I go back into my appearance over on this side here on the left hand side of the screen, right click and go to appearance. Then inside the appearance, I can obviously add further and further levels if I wanted to, change the colors, change the fonts in there. I go to my format bar chart and go in the general tab and this time if I click on bar chart inside there and close on that the colors will be continued across into the bar chart and again finally as you, in the previous video we showed you how to turn off the shading but I can simply go into file options spreadsheet and take off the alternate shading just to see how it looks there and again now if I've got that in there, if I go to my home and say show to level 2, you can see that's in there, show to level 1. And again as I open these up, you can see the different banding go down.